Okay. Um, last night I started reading this book, Sunshine by Norma Klein. Um, it's based on, um, well, it's based on a TV movie that they took from the recordings of Jackie and. Jacqueline Helton. She had bone cancer, and it spread to the rest of her body eventually. But anyways, as I started reading it, just the way that she wrote, um, it was exactly like I wrote. Um, my friend actually gave this to me to read because they said it read a lot like my book. So I picked it up and. I started at like 10 o'clock last night, stopped reading at like 3, and then read for a few more hours today. But I feel like I know her. She died in 1971 at the age of 20, and just the way that her thought processes are, and just the way that she wrote, and the way that her emotions went when she was feeling certain things. Yeah, I don't know what it's like to have cancer, but I I felt for her in a lot of situations. Um, well, I mean, I felt for her in all the situations, but I really connected with her consciousness in a few of them. Um, but it brought me back to my philosophies and what I think of life, and I guess to an extent, and I, I had thought of reincarnation before and kind of believed it before and then I forgot about the whole new soul thing until I watched Waking Life the other day um, and then I totally forgot about it again until I read this and then like or at least read the beginning part yesterday and I was like wow I feel like I could have been her and then it brought me back to the collective unconscious and how well I am her I'm just not like maybe we had the separate the same soul fragments because I feel like we might all be of course this is getting more spiritual or whatever if you don't believe in spiritual stuff then I don't really care um I feel like the collective unconscious is like this big glob of consciousness or soul and when we are born we have like a little piece of this giant bubble and that's why some people relate so well because maybe they have a piece of the same bigger piece that was once somebody else and that's why you connect so much um i feel like i might have part of her little soul piece and it's it was really hard to read that book. It was a really easy read because it was so similar to the way that I write and think. But as far as emotional, like, I pretty much just read, read myself dead. <laughs> like, I just watched myself die from another life. It was really, really messed up. Um, but it's really weird kind of like going through some stuff right now because I just read that like I highly recommend it it's a really good book it's it's heart-wrenching but it it's pretty fantastic um especially if you find yourself relating to things that I say or the way that I talk um definitely a must read for him can't believe it was like sold for a dollar a dollar fifty long time ago but so yeah I think that the collective unconscious is really just like this big giant blob and when people reach enlightenment or realization they just kind of like connect back up to this blob a little bit and that's why people have the same ideas and like figure things out at the same time because they're tapping into the giant collective unconscious um pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, that was the most intense book I have ever read. Um, just probably because it relates to me so much. I mean, I think I've read books that were more intense in other aspects, but the fact that I felt like that was me, like 
I know that girl, like, inside and out. I just, uh, I'm mourning her. <laughs> like, what, like, 42 years later, I'm mourning her. It's ridiculous. But, um, if you've ever read a book that has had, like, that connection with you, like, where you literally, like, felt like that was you, like, not just you could relate, but, like, you know, like, that person, like, wonder, what is what, 113? Yeah, there's a page in here. But I read that, and I just freaked out. Because she wrote a lot of poems. Um, one is called America, hurrah, ha, ha, ha. No, hurrah, ha, ha. <laughs> it's weird saying hurrah and then ha, ha, ha. It's hurrah, ha, ha, ha. Um, here it is. You may take your poverty aid and your military aid, and your foreign aid, and even your Kool-Aid for what it's worth, America. You may burn us for burning our draft cards, as our mothers once burned us for, before for playing with matches. But it no longer matters, America. You can prosecute us for not killing an unjust war, for wanting peace, through a universal, workable understanding, love. I don't want to kill a person for such an unworthy cause as we are fighting for now. I defy you, America. You can imprison us for years and months and young and productive lives because we happen to have the guts, America, the guts to stand for what we believe in because we are human, because we retain our humanity despite your propaganda. You can stifle the lives of those who haven't been told, but not me, America. I am free, you hear? They only can understand as far as you have taught them, and that's not very far. Their minds have grown lethargic and old. Freedom can't be won with a song. Right, it takes many voices and many songs. We, we are the ones that matter. You have grown old and you have done your work. Let us grow old as we wish. Step aside. I prefer the feel of a newborn child and a man's hand on my shoulder to that of a weapon, whether material or immaterial. I read like the, the third and fourth verse. I mean, I really, that, it sounds like something I wrote. It sounds like something I thought. And, like, there are a few more other parts that it just sounded like it came right out of my mouth. Like, I'm pretty sure I've probably spoken those words before. I mean, not that poem, but the other words in the book that I related, like, that I felt like I said. I freaked out, like, six times. I was like, Travis, this is what it just said. Like, uh, it's freaking me out a little bit. But I'm going to go do some research what's going on in the world right now, Um, maybe read some stuff about psychology and also do my homework for MK, which I didn't do. Um... I got a thing of wit, which means nothing to you. But if you have a book that it felt like you wrote it, like you just, that was you. If you feel like you have that little piece of collective unconscious soul fragment from that same person, please tell me what that book is. I would really love to know what book that is, and I like to read it, and I like to maybe see, I don't know, I just like to read more books that, like, people can, like, feel this with, because it's so intense, it's so absolutely bizarre, um, but I hope you all have a fabulous day, um, thanks for listening to my slightly emotional rant and my poetry, which wasn't my poetry, but I actually might be posting some of my poetry, uh, we'll see, you guys have a good day.